If you know me, then you know there's going to be a Deja Vu video sooner or later on the channel. But, man, Deja Vu is this such this weird phenomena that I still can't understand for myself because it happens so often. But, man, it is it is so wild. Like, I'll have Deja Vu right before an event happens, and it's like sometimes depending on when it happens I'll be able to like I'll be able to sometimes it's like I'll always be able to predict what will happen but right before the moment happens I can't actually change any of the events that are about to take place depending on if they're like external or they're my own actions but sometimes my own actions that I do are completely deja vu like all the time and it was crazy for a while I was struggling with how to deal with how much deja vu was, you know, happening within my life. And, and what's really crazy is there was a point in time, like when I first started awakening and shit, or first had my awakening, I was looking up videos of what deja vu was and all this shit. And, you know, there's some videos saying like the surface level videos. It's like the ones where it's like, Okay, yeah, you're given the description, but something in your heart is like, this is definitely not it. That discernment, you know, that discernment I always talk about, where it's you really know in your heart that now nah, something's different about this. There's something different about this sensation. There was one person I heard talk about it who who absolutely just took it right away from me, just definitely landed it, and it was Elmer Locker Jr., and when he had his video on Deja Vu, that shit was insane. Every single word resonated with me because it's like what was happening was dreams that I would have almost like weeks in advance or like, let me think, like a day, a day before would play out the entire day after. And that's the best way for me to put what Deja Vu is. And basically it's like you're already imagining when you go to sleep your future like ahead of time and not only that deja vu is also showing you multiple lives when you've been the same person so there's this belief out there that you go through basically the same life as the same person over and over until you learn what you had to learn as that incarnation so it's basically like if i'm if i was the you know the different versions of myself you've seen on youtube before you'll see me again and this is actually confirmed with my own experience where someone where it's been actually multiple people who, who have been watching my other channels have literally said yo i get deja vu watching your videos like i'm running into you again um it, on this like wavelength and i was like yeah that probably most likely is happening <laughs> and, it, and it's crazy because you know it's like it's almost like a cool kid secret club. It's not like a mass psychosis thing where it's like just a bunch of people running mad. But no, it's actually, this actually happening. Like, it's happening right now. And it's crazy because it's like, we're, we we really are the souls. Like, it's, it's wild to think about. But, yeah, you're basically just imagining your life ahead of time. And so when the things happen, right... It's like, especially if you're an overthinker, this, I've seen so many funny memes. I wish there was one I could just throw in the video of the guy. I probably could find it if I looked it up, where he said, you know, God blessed overthinkers with the ability to foresee the future. And then I'll throw my little thing on it and say, but literally the curse of that is, is that you overthink so much to the point where you're like freaking, uh, you're like, you can just basically have paralysis of the mind where you just end up st like stumping yourself in, like into a grave like you'll o you'll overthink so much that you're literally just paralyzed in person like but but it's in your mind but it literally stops your body from moving maybe my case is a bit more serious than others in the past but yeah thank god it's not like how i used to overthink bro it's horrible it's literally i could i could think of every possibility that would ever happen but you know but yeah, for so for deja vu, man, it's insane. It's like it's the weirdest thing. But 
basically, in Elmer's words, or not necessarily his words, I think he was quoting Neville Goddard or something like that, but, you know, mixing it in with his own flair, is that uh, deja vu is you imagining your life before it happens, and when it happens, you get deja vu because it's the exact scene you set up in your head, which is basically, you know, divine in itself, but, you know, for, for people outside of that realm, so I've heard, is that it's actually just, you know, a sensation where you're remembering something that's familiar to you, but that's what I, that's when I step in and say, remember to use proper discernment, because <clears throat> there's a lot of deja vu I've had in my life where the events were never, most, most of it is too, where the events are not similar to things I've went through growing up. Because that's usually what people try to write deja vu off as. It's it's similar or very similar to events that you've seen play out before. So when they happen, you're like, oh, that's a weird sense of deja vu. My brother's alarm keeps going off. But back to the deja vu stuff. It's, yeah, you'll be able to discern whether it's like sometimes you'll get in, you'll be like, oh, that's deja vu. But your mind will definitely be able to tell the difference between it being like, yo, but I've never experienced this before. And uh, I think I just got deja vu because like this happened back in my old town. Like, you know, it's kind of like that where the the like scientific explanation of deja vu is li literally experiencing something that's very similar to a different event in your life. It's like, say you met a girl at a Denny's and she said like, how you doing love something 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 and that line was exactly what you've heard two years ago at a Denny's when you were back at a, a small town in a different state eight eight states away type shit and they go oh deja vu someone said that to me before that's that deja vu but when it's the more divine deja vu it's the actual shit in which you know this is all the dance of life so I think it's all divine but there's definitely a more logical one where your brain is literally just picking up a pattern. But then there's the one where you have not experienced this pattern at all yet. And right off the gate, it's deja vu, but you know for a fact you haven't done it. Like, say you're just, this is your first boat ride and you're just out on the Pacific and you see a whale jump up and like sp spray from its blowhole. And then you're like, whoa, deja vu, what the fuck? It's like, no, see, and you, this is the first time you've ever seen this before in your life. It's like, nah, there's something there. You just, you were imagining it. Or you were creating this reality to be. But, you know, again, you could hear the also the logical way of that too is it's, if it's an experience, anything can be chalked up to an experience. Damn near everything you go through is going to be an experience, but um, and they could be minor experiences too, like maybe you're watching a nature documentary and it looked exactly like the thing you've seen on TV one day, but that's also bringing things into fruition because you've seen it one day and imagined yourself in that position. So when it happens, it's deja vu, but deja, then that's just more signs that the deja vu was leading you or not leading you. You were leading yourself with using your imagination, but the deja vu was confirmation that this was something you were creating way before it happened. If I can put it in the best words. Uh, you gotta forgive me nowadays. I've talked about this stuff so much that that's why in my last video I said, honestly, I'm just gonna be dropping because I'm, I'm gonna be dropping, not really caring how it comes out because it's like I've, I've done so much like articulated <laughs> forms of talking about this shit but to be honest it's just, I just want to flow man it's so much simpler it's like this stuff is really not complicated when people start over complicating it you have to raise an eyebrow because it's supposed to be easy it's supposed to be in tune with it but the part that's not supposed to be easy about all of it right is actually doing the work is staying on top of yourself when you do it and when you understand these concepts you're supposed to really apply them to your life and when they no longer serve you, you look for new things and, and new new knowledge and yada yada. And that's actually a video that I want to talk about, which is like doing the work, doing the actual work and what entails with that. So I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to go do that next. But yeah, 
So anyways, yeah, that's been Deja Vu. Deja Vu is a very fun thing. Man, I've had some wild stories with it that just things have blown my mind, made me damn near like whew, backflip. There's There's been so many occasions. But if you ever want to hear those, just, you know, just let me know down below. So anyways, love you guys. I'm out of here.